Hello beautiful people, so we are finally back in college after almost a whole year of staying at home due to the COVID-19 and now we are in college and it's been really tough because having spent a whole year like just staying at home and now you have to go to classes like for us we have classes from 7 a.m to 6 p.m in the evening and you have to like attend all the classes so it's been really tough for me and i think for once i've just thought of quitting because it's been really tough but we just have to go on when you previously before the covid thing we were on our attachments and I was in Nyanyuki and uh, so now we have to move from Nyanyuki to Muranga because we had to continue with our classes. And now the school just comes up and says you have to cater for the means in which you have to move your stuff from Nyanyuki to Muranga. So you can imagine the hassle of trying to move your things and settle and find a house. And it was on a weekend and on Monday you have class. So we went to Nyanyuki and we had to look for a means by which we are going to carry our stuff. So we had to look for a canter because we are like almost 10 of us. So we had to look for one, then look at the way that we can divide the amount amongst each other and carry our stuff and go to Morang. <laughs> So this is the Moran Lodge and this was the weekend that Calligraph Jones was coming to Nyanyuki and okay I missed that. Then this is the Nyanyuki mall and I didn't have time to go to see the mall like we have shown you there's another bigger mall here. So first of all we started by going to Meru County because we couldn't pay like the rent for all that period so we had another nurse to our staff for us so we had to go and pick the stuff from that place which is in Meru County then bring all our stuff to Nyanyuki then that's where the lorry had to pick us from so it's not a far distance like from Nyanyuki you just have to cross a certain border then you're already in Meru County So we are here and because I love sugar cane, let's have some. So these are my stuff and so to Nyanyuki I'll be using a uh, Pro Box. Najoku Kumeru County ni Pro Box, Pro Box to na baby wanga so I'll use this Pro Box to get to Nyanyuki then we'll see from there. So this is the border between Lake Ipia County and Meru County and it is separated by this bridge here and there's a river here that makes, I don't know, a love sign or a letter S but I heard that they say this river, I don't know, it has a sign for love or something. And just in a few minutes we are already now in Nyanyuki and now I'm going to take my stuff into a central place where we are all going to be picked up so I'm going to show you around. So this is Majengo like in every other town there is usually that Majengo place so this is the Majengo for Nyanyuki and it's a really good place there is so so many business going around here. And 
and then this is the market and i usually like love it especially when it's a market day on wednesday and saturday you find that things are quite affordable especially vegetables and such kind of things and then now we are ready inside the counter on our way to muranga those are our stuff so we are like going to pick other people around and just leave for muranga this is just so tiresome for me And so the distance from Nyanyuki to Muranga is usually three or four hours and it depends with the speed you are going at because it's a really like far place because you have to like cross another county. We cross usually go from Nyanyuki to Kirinyaga County, then that's when we go to Muranga County. So this is Kirinyaga County. And finally in Muranga County. So we'll have our things placed at a central place in campus because people live in different areas like far away from campus so at least again everyone has to look for their own means by which you're going to take your things from campus to where you are staying then we have to look for another means to take our stuff to the apartment again Don't <laughs> <laughs> so that was it but by monday we had already settled at least you have somewhere to sleep and somewhere where you can cook and have your meals so by monday we were settled and at 7 a.m we we're already gone for our classes and just trying to wake up by six or even earlier than that was so difficult because at home you could just be sleeping and even wake up at 9 or 10 a.m in the morning but now you have to wake up at 6 and go for your classes it was just so tiresome but we just had to do it so by 6 you're already up and you try and like make breakfast polish your shoes because as always <laughs> you have a, a butter shoes and take breakfast do other normal chores and maybe do one two three like assignments and study and then go to class and for us we stay a little bit further from school like almost 20 minutes walking so you have to like just have a 20 minutes extra time before seven for you to get to school so when you get to class just the normal stuff the lecturer comes in and for the first like 45 minutes you'll be concentrating but for the rest of like one and a half hours we're just looking at the lecturer like what is even happening like classes have been so tough during this week because they're still trying to adapt and with the covid thing like you have to like put on your mask like the whole day you can imagine having your mask on like from 6 a.m to even 6 p.m or even 7 p.m in the evening i think i actually feel like my ears hurt and like the area of my head right here is like I just have headache all the time so it's been that kind of difficult and that is Monday to Friday 
So like Monday was a little bit <laughs> hectic because that's when that was the first time you're just trying all this out in classes and such kind of things. And now trying to get again used to people because like a whole year you're like people change. Some people like changed even in character and Monday was just so weird. So we wake up in the morning and then have breakfast, a really heavy one. And then walk to school, it's almost a 20 minutes walk and yeah, Muranga County is just so dirty. Every place is just a dumping site. usually have classes from 7 a.m. all the way throughout the day to 6 p.m. in the evening and the classes are just so tiring because having to sit down in one position like the whole entire class session is just so tiring that at times we usually have to have some kind of stretching stuff <laughs> so hungry like classes from seven to six is just something else at times when you go back home you don't even feel like going back to school but anyways you just have to do it so let's go have some lunch After classes, we usually go for prayers, and that's why we'll go home almost 7 p.m. and we just go buy supper and go prepare our meal and sleep, and then wait for the next day because we find that 7 p.m. we just can't be able to do like many other things. And then by six you go back home. It it used to be just that normal thing, and Wednesday the same thing, Thursday the same thing. But at least for Friday you're already used to it, and the week starts looking a little bit easier. Cause Friday at least you said you're used to waking up by six, and by seven you're back at home, and it became a schedule. And for Friday was a little bit better because you are. Mm. so motivated because you know that Saturday you won't be going to for classes so I think Friday is one of my best days of the week and it's so fun because even lecturers like 
they are also so tired to reaching until 6 p.m. So by Friday, maybe by 3, you're already at home, you do other things like normal chores, and maybe even Friday, that's when you think of cooking something else, like for us, try to cook event parties and such kind of things. You know me, I got you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> So these are my amoeba shaped chapatis. <laughs> I just can't make any other like a circle shape or something anyways. Bora tukuli shape tunakula chapati. <laughs> and then on Saturday like in the morning usually try and find just something to do like you can go to church, you can do other school activities that can keep you busy because also staying at home, just sitting there isn't that good. Then you can also like go to the market. So on Saturdays we go to the market and buy like stuffs like cereals and tomatoes, onions and vegetables and all the kind of stuff Then in the evening, I usually try to do like the crocheting. I've been trying to like learn it because I noticed I'm interested in those kind of clothes, and uh, I thought of just trying to do it myself because I'm this person who likes like having something that I've done with my own hands. So I've been trying to like do the crochet stuff. So that is just a little bit of how my week usually is here in college because now classes from 7 to 6 in the evening you can't have time to do most of the things so you just have to like fix them so I know it's a little bit boring but you're just gonna have to start and get used to it maybe as the weeks goes by we'll start doing other things and just getting that college life going on and anyways that's it and thank you so much for watching this video and see you on my next video and don't forget to subscribe bye bye